Hi guys, Vex here, and on this episode of Vex's Test World, I want to talk about two things. Um, the first one isn't very exciting, and I don't even really have anything to show you about it, and uh, I already tweeted about it. It's basically the results of a test I did, testing frame rate, um, and because the frame rate got so bad, it's not something I'd bother trying to record anyway. Um, basically a 16 by 16 by 256 chunk of stone gave me like uh, more than 200 frames per second, no performance loss at all. Um, iron bars were a slight dip in performance. I went down to I think about 100 and something FPS. And then I tried fences and nether fences and those seriously affect performance. They uh, my computer's pretty good. It's a 3.4 gigahertz quad core at the time of this recording. And I've got a uh, 2 gigabyte um, modern NVIDIA card. I, I don't remember exactly what it is. Um, but it's pretty good. Uh, and so the nether fences, a full chunk, 16 by 16 by 256 of nether fences took me down to like uh, 20, 20 something. Um, and more than that, basically almost crashed Minecraft. So if you're making a map, uh, just be conscious, I've figured this out by testing, that nether fences really do uh, impact performance, and that makes sense because they're a complex 3D shape, unlike uh, you know stone or something that's just rendering one side, and I think Minecraft doesn't even render what's behind it, but when you've got nether fences, you see everything. Anyway, okay, so that was like the, the boring thing. Um, this next thing for this episode... <clears throat> excuse me, of my test world, is a little more exciting. It's called Bacon Airlines, or at least it was going to be called. Unfortunately, this concept doesn't work, but I wanted to show off what I tried anyway. And basically, I love Minecraft. Basically, it's flaming saddle pig spawner. Now, they don't have to be, actually, they have, they have to be flaming just because it's more awesome if they are. Um... Yeah. And so they're saddle pigs, so you can ride them. And the idea was to have some sort of fast travel system where pigs rocket out of the spawner. And these are custom spawners. You make them by adding momentum to the monster data, or in this case the pig data, and a direction. <clears throat> and so yeah, so the idea was that you click on them. And am I on creative? I am. Let me turn off and go to survival mode. So the problem here is that to travel any amount of actual distance, they have to move pretty quick. And clicking on them as they fly out of the spawner is pr actually pretty hard. Um, like, I'm, I'm just spamming right click. You might be able to hear it in the background. But it, it's, it's kind of... It doesn't work that well. There's... It's really, you have to get really lucky to hit one of these pigs as they fly out. Um, it does generate gratuitous amounts of uh, pork chops here. Um, but you, so to, ha to cover, you know, a decent distance, they have to fly out really fast. Now I've set up another one over here that's got more spawners concentrated in one area. And there's f uh, fewer grass, so there's fewer room for them to spawn on and uh, you know what I just I'm just gonna shut up for a second and you can just enjoy the view so anyway this also generates gratuitous amounts of uh, pork chops and they're already cooked because they're flaming. I'm so nice. Now let me try and click on these guys, and I might be able to successfully get one of these. Come on. Come on. Cooperate. Oh, wait, there I go. Right. So I basically got on one, and you still take fall damage too, which also limits this. You'd have to have, uh, I think, feather falling to help protect you a little bit. Um. So, so yeah, you just have to kind of get lucky and click on one. And this is like ton. I mean, look how many pigs are flying out of here 
and I'm still just spam clicking the path they're coming out of, and it's still just a total crapshoot whether you get one or not. Um, so I really wanted this concept to work. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't. It is hilarious to watch, though, which is why I wanted to show it off. I mean, look at this. No, what I could do is have like a bridge. Uh, imagine like a bridge where my crosshair is going under this arch, and instead of pigs, imagine these all to be flaming skeletons that constantly like shoot down at you as they fly, and then they just die in lava or something. Um, that'd be kind of funny and fun, I think. Uh, so here's here's like all the pork chops ever. I was thinking maybe if you ever get to a point in a map where you obviously just have unlimited food and it, food is really easy to get, I might put one of these in just for the hell of it because it's hilarious and that's like the best way to get food ever, I think. Like flaming saddle pigs just rocket into the air and they just smash to the ground. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Alright, so that's it for this episode of Vex's Test World. I hope you enjoyed watching this... This, uh... Bacon, unfortunately, Bacon Airlines, uh, all flights are cancelled. Doesn't quite work. Um, and I don't think, I mean, I just, it's the speed. They come out so fast. Just, I mean, good luck trying to actually click on one when it's, when they come out. So... You can slow them down, but then they have, like they barely cover any distance, and so I don't really see the, the point. Um, so so yeah, I don't know. It's um, there, there's probably some stuff you could do with this concept, um, but my initial uh, initial purpose, like of a fast travel system, doesn't work. Can't click on them. It's too hard to. I mean, you can, but it's it's annoying. It really is. You bet. You better off to. Uh, just let your players have a, a, a rail line or something. Um, all right. So anyway, uh, that's it for this episode of Vex's Test World. Thank you guys very much for watching. And uh, I'm going to get back to my waking up developer commentary. Have fun, guys. <laughs> so awesome. <laughs>